Hey guys, this week I wanted to make a shorter video and just talk a little bit about creatives and the need to create. Designers, illustrators, musicians, all creators are driven to create something totally new, to improve something existing or to take something and build on top of it. Obviously, I'm not going to speak for all creators here, not even for a fraction of them, but I'm going to speak for myself. It took me a long time to figure out for myself why I'm a creative and what this urge in me is to create. Because it is not just the design urge where I want to come up with products that help people and improve people's lives. That is the reason why I studied industrial design. But I want to give back, I want to help, I want to teach, I want to make people smile and have them feel something. And that is my love for storytelling. I love escapism. The joy that a movie, a video game, a book, a comic book, or an elaborate painting can give you is something that has me in awe. And I want to make other people feel that. I want to be the cause of it, or at least have a hand in it. And I think that shows on my YouTube channel as well. I'm struggling and I'm being torn between design, illustration and storytelling. That is why you see my videos jumping from educational to purely illustrative to movie reviews. I'm trying to feed this creative little monster in me with as much of what it likes as possible. But uh, this also segues me back to last week's video quite neatly. Because sometimes you have to take risks if you truly want to follow your creative urge and do your own thing. And that means you have to be open to failure. You have to say, I'm going to try this path where I'm going to do my own thing and let's see what happens. I'm not saying everyone has to quit their job and embark on a journey of self-discovery in the creative fields. That is exactly what I did and it is incredibly exciting and scary as hell at the same time. No, what I'm saying is to always keep on feeding that little creative monster because there are few things as fulfilling in life as creating your own thing. And that can be a wood carving or knitting or creating some do-it-yourself analog dubstep device. Actually, one of my former studio mates did that. And although neither he or I were big into dubstep, uh, it was quite amazing to see what he did. I'm saying this because you will be a happier person, a less depressed person and someone who can always find joy in life because there are new things to build and to discover. I don't want to get into the habit of making many of these life coaching blah blah videos but lately I had a heck of a time pursuing my personal projects and I'm just super happy about it and I wanted to share this with you and encourage you to embrace your creative side and discover new ways of joy. And to talk about what I'm drawing here, this is part of my hashtag join in June project where I'm drawing a new element uh, of the story every day throughout June. Uh, the catch is that people are suggesting me ideas and topics what to draw on Facebook and on my Instagram. And feel free to join in and suggest me something here or follow me on Instagram and suggest things there. I think it's a hell of a fun uh, to co-create a story like this with everyone, so yeah, join in. In other news, I also made some prints available of my Black Panther Art Nouveau paintings. Feel free to check them out, uh, the link is in the description down below. And as always, leave a comment in the comment section and hit that like button and consider subscribing if you like this video. Have a great beginning of June and see you lovely people next time. Bye bye!